Protectron on duty. Got it.
is someone present. Visit my old friend, the frozen TV dinner. Last time we met, you were cozying up to the pee. <laughs> Sensor reading detected. Movement detected. Curious. Pissed off, I get it, I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, it's not gonna go your way. Nice. 
Is someone present? By order of the institute. You got guts and determination. It's admirable. You are in over your head in ways you can't possibly comprehend. Damaged. It's not too late. Stop. Turn around and leave. You have that option. Not a lot of people can say that. Just up ahead. My sins are standing down. Let's talk. And there he is. Most resilient man in the Commonwealth. Funny. I thought I had that honor. So. Here we are. Funny, huh? Where is my son? Where is Sean? <laughs> Pal, I'm just a puppet like you. My stage is a little bigger, that's all. Sean's a good kid. A bit older than you expected, am I right? But he's doing great. Only... He's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker. Where is my son? What's the cliche? So close, but yet so far away? That's Sean. But don't worry. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but ah well. At least he's in a loving home. The Institute. So where is it, huh? This institute. How do I get there? 
Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the Institute. The Institute finds you. You open the closet, it's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Question is, are you? Attacking enemy. There we go. Oh, wish I'd brought something to peruse myself.
no way I'm cracking this. I don't believe it. Hey, Valentine. Where's your son? What happened? You were right, Nick. Kellogg did have my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... 
he gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols trip those memories out. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there, but to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Man like that would have had access. In and out. Yeah, but I'm guessing he wasn't the surrender and talk type, was he? He's dead, Nick. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. If you want to head there together, just say so. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there, Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps.